Time to liven up the joint. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we got a box from the McFarland store. Um, McFarland. Um, I don't know what happened here, buddy, but my box has been ripped open, basically. So, Jesus Christ, I don't know if that was on, um, if that was on, um, I think it was FedEx that shipped this, or UPS. No, I think it was FedEx um, that shipped this, but Jesus Christ. Uh, luckily, let's hope nothing inside was damaged, um, because this box looks like it's been through hell. <laughs> Um, open this bad boy up. We open it up. This is what you see inside. Um, so, but anyways, we have the King Spider. King Spider from the new Spawn Wave. So yes, the, the new Spawn Wave that was just recently announced um, is in on the McFarland store. Not sure how long that's gonna be. We have plague as well which is pretty cool he comes with the skull he comes with different hands spider comes with um i don't know what that is looks like a mini base comes with this big chain um ball with nails on there so looking pretty cool i love the spider's design um plague looks pretty awesome as well here's the back love the the box art for them um, absolutely crazy. I'm going to do my best not to destroy the box um, because I love this. I always I love like McFarland's um, logo of Spawn. Just love like the, the font to it. Looks so freaking cool as well. Um, and then here is kind of like the, the back, the side, the front. And then here is the other side. So there is that. And then last but not least, I know this is not the whole wave. Um, this one's gonna come with a cold card. Um, because the rest of the figures ain't out yet. The only ones we actually I have been seeing a lot of people been seeing that salmon twitch in stores. Um, my area hasn't got salmon twitch yet, as far as I know. Um, so hopefully we'll get him pretty soon. Um, but here is Nightmare Spawn, so pretty cool if you ask me. Wow, love this box art as well. Um, man, I might, oh man, see, there's a little bit damage up here on the top of the box, but everything else looks pretty good if you ask me. Um, I don't know what's up with this logo, but adding wings on it makes it look even cooler as well. Then here, I'll, um, Nightmare Spawn looks from the side. I believe we are missing Salmon Twitch and I believe Omega Spawn. Omega Spawn was the last one. Um, so pretty cool. Um, I don't really know too much about these guys. Gonna be honest with you, they might be from the new from the um, uh, comics. So I haven't been reading the newer comics. I'm gonna be honest with you. So uh, yeah, I don't really know much from them, but they just look awesome. So can't wait to unbox them. Before we unbox, I just want to say if you guys can leave a like. If you guys haven't already, and subscribe if you guys haven't already. I appreciate everybody who does. We are well on our way to 400, but I need you guys to help me get there. Um, and I appreciate every single person who does. Um, and don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss another unboxing just like this one. So let's go ahead and unbox these bad boys because I can't wait to get into these figures. Okay, guys, so when you take Plague Spawn out of packaging, this is what he looks like. And I just got to say, I think all these figures are awesome in this whole line. But this one is pretty, pretty sick as well. I think from all of them, um, I think I think it's going to be a tie between him. Um, I mean, I like all of them, really, but him and probably King Spider. Nightmare Spawn is pretty cool. They all are pretty cool. I'm just, just going to say that. I like each and every one of them. I mean, I love the colors that McFarlane used for these, for him. I love the fact that, you know, he has a whole bunch of spikes coming out from the back as well. Just look at the back of the head. Let's get an up-close shot of his face because this face is freaking awesome. He got the orange inside on the mouth mixed in with the yellows that are flowing off of each other. Same thing pretty on uh, on the eyes as well. He has the classic um, sign on um, 
on his stomach as well. The hands are freakish as well. Uh, could grip somebody's head, which is pretty cool. I like the the, the index finger on this one. Um, you know, he has the long index finger, which makes it look like the claw is pretty crazy as well. Just as, and then the, the whole like design of him, it's like a whole bunch of whites mixed in as well. His body looks like it, um, like a plague. It's basically like decaying, which looks pretty cool. Got spikes coming out from the legs. This is basically how the foot looks as well. Man, it just looks so freaking good, man. What a dope looking figure. Absolutely love it. The head, could he do a 360? Yeah, he could. This one is probably kind of a little different from previous um, spawn figures, but I love the articulation on him as well. Torso, um, torso is good on top because of the cuts. He got two different cuts. He got one on the lower waist, one in the middle, then one on the top. Um, gives flexibility towards the top layer. Um, you can do a whole 360 on the uh, in the middle as well. So you could turn it on the middle. And then the waist on the bottom side, not really so much, but not really seeing that. Could he do a double knee? Um, yes, he could. He could do a double knee as well. Uh, the top part, though, and this is with most of McFarlane figures, the top part struggles to turn. Um, basically how it cuts from the back of the figure towards his butt, um, to the top right here. So, um, there's that. But anyway, yeah, this figure is freaking awesome if you ask me. Um, I just like this figure. Anyways, let's look at the other. Oh, wait, wait, I still got to show off his accessories. He does come with, uh, two different hands as well so if you don't like these big hands which i don't understand why you wouldn't um he comes with this uh smaller hands as well so this is the grip something as well so if you don't like the bigger hands which i don't understand why you wouldn't um you could use these small guys as well and then he comes with um this cool looking base it's basically a whole bunch of skulls on there uh with spikes Oh, looks like one of their heads got crushed into the spike. Oh, man, that one went straight to the eye. Um, so that's actually pretty cool. This is basically how the bottom looks. So you could mess around, get a little display off. You know, Halloween's coming around. You want to get some cool little displays when it comes down to some McFarlane figures. Um, you know, you could use this as a, a cool little display. So anyways, um, yeah, that's basically Nightmare... I mean, Plague Spawn, let's look at um, Nightmare Spawn, and we're going to look at King Spider last, because I like King Spider. Hey, okay, guys, so when you take Nightmare Spawn out of packaging, this is what he looks like. I'm going to be honest with you, I kind of like this figure. Uh, one thing I did notice, though, is the waist and the top part of the top torso is uh, basically... Uh, the waist is real skinny compared to the rest of the body. So I don't know if that's like by design and how he looks in the comics. But did notice that right away. Um, so there's one thing. But I love his whole design. Let's look at let's look at, at this face because this face is absolutely crazy. So of course he has the like the spawn looking face as well with the little bit white mixed in with the green eyes. Um, it looks pretty good. The nose, the teeth. Looks pretty crazy. This guy has six horns on his top head. Uh, so he looks pretty cool. The wings looks pretty good as well. I like these wings because they're not as too long. They, they, to me, honestly, they don't really look like they're going to take up too much space on the shelves. So there's that little bit of weathering on the wings um, as well. Um, they are articulated, but not too much. Um yeah so there is that but the wings do look pretty good this is basically how the back looks um as well i love the like every little detail that's going around i think mcfarland does a really good job especially like on the spine going all the way down to his buttocks uh he has a little tail on the back um but everything else looks pretty crazy the hands are pretty good as well um love the little gauntlet that's on the hand it's definitely unique from a different type of spawns we normally are accustomed to. So there's that. They got the horns coming out of the, the arms on the other side as well. So that, that makes it unique. Um, I like the hands. 
they're gripping you could put them in grimacing poses um because he is uh, a spawn you know a, a devil spawn so pretty cool um so there's that but here is the rest of the body as well then here is the foot the foot looks pretty good then here is the bottom of the foot so there's that but yeah this guy is freaking awesome man i absolutely love him um not too much problems at the articulation as well the head could do a 360. this one um twerk on the on the torso is a little is definitely better than the torso on plague spawn as well did notice that the legs are doubled layer basically um you guys can see the little cuts on the hip um and then from the leg so there's that I guess is to give him um, way more articulation than the other figures um in this line but anyway yeah that is basically nightmare spawn arms is uh, articulated as well um can't turn it all the way back because of the wings but if you move the wings out of the way yeah he could do a hook 360 hands as well but yeah uh articulation is good um, but yeah, that is Nightmare Spawn looking absolutely freaking amazing. Um, now let's look at the last and final figure in this wave. And that is King Spider. Okay, guys. So here is King Spider. I'm going to be honest with you. I like this figure just instantly. Just off the face itself. You know, this guy has a spider for a face. He has the red eyes giving him a grimacing look. He has the white skin going all the way around. Yeah, this guy is definitely freakish as well. Um, did notice the hands, like on the knuckles, have spikes. Uh, so imagine him punching you, just gonna just break your face in, um, cut your face open pretty well. Um, and then this guy is just jacked. But this is basically how the rest of the body looks. You know, here is the bottom foot. Um, kind of unique colors, if you ask me. Um, there's a whole bunch of greens going around it. Now, at first I thought it was like, man, maybe it was QC issues. But no, that's basically intentional. Um, especially, definitely on like the shoulder. Um, right here. I was like, yeah, that's definitely intentional. Um, and then the spikes on the, um, the, the forearm as well. Just going all the way around through the body. This is how the back of him looks. Um, he does have, have these little wraparound thingies. Going around from his legs all the way up to his torso, um, which is uh, okay. It's definitely unique, you know, definitely uh, something we're not really accustomed to. He does look like an uh, evil character you could put in your Spider Man display, but uh, I don't know if he would fit though. Because um, I, I, he definitely looks way too evil to be in that display. He looks like he's about to, he definitely was eating some, a human. Uh, but yeah, this, I mean, he's freaking awesome. I love this figure instantly. Uh, I think between him and Plague Spawn um, might be my favorites. Um, Nightmare Spawn is pretty cool, but I don't, I don't know. I just like these designs a little bit better. Anyways, though, he does come with some accessories, so we could show that off as well. Okay, guys, so this is how Plague, I mean, King Spider looks with the um, uh, Chain Ball. Um, looking pretty cool if you ask me. I like this um, this thing. It actually just I what I did was I took out the hand, used the gripping hand that he comes with. So there's other uh, he comes with two other hands. So I used the gripping hand that he comes with. Slide in that one first, and then put it in like that, and have him looks like he's holding the chain or whatever. So pretty cool. I just gotta strain that up, and when I get a chance. But yeah, I think uh, I think this is a pretty cool accessory. I like this as well. Um, what I could do as well is have the uh, gripping hand grip this to make it look like he's throwing it as well. So that that's pretty cool. Like love that to come with it. And then he comes with a little base um, because there's like a whole bunch of scars on there. Different from the other base. This one's a little bit smaller. Um, there is this piece that's sticking out. Uh, looks like you could plug something in. But doesn't really come with it. There's not really anything on the figure where you could plug this into the figure. Um, so pretty interesting about that. I don't know what what the, what the deal with these stands are. Um, to be honest with you, I don't think they were really ever explained. I mean, I'm pretty sure they were explained, but I just never paid attention to it. But 
yeah guys that is basically it when it comes down to these three amazing figures can't wait to get the other ones in so we can mess around with them um i believe it's like i said it's omega spawn and um uh salmon twitch so i can't wait to get those in as well there's a future video coming for that so stay tuned for that as well but yeah that's pretty much it for this video let's wrap this bad boy up hey guys that's pretty much it that's all i got for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys did enjoy this please consider liking and subscribing helps the channel tremendously gives me motivated keep doing unboxings just like the spawns um so yeah i highly recommend picking these bad boys up i cannot wait to get the other two in um as well as the future ones you know we got medieval spawn on the way monolith um i forgot who was the the third person in that wave uh, but whenever those come in i cannot wait um there's just so much on the horizon right now um so stay tuned guys because you never know what's going to be on box on channel but anyways um like i said it's pretty much it you guys have a wonderful amazing day i see you guys They don't call me the main man for nothing.